Hi, welcome to the SharePoint Site Builder Masterclass. This course really has four main aims. The first one is to demystify SharePoint. It's not that scary and it's not that difficult. The second is to explain the core functionalities of any SharePoint site. The third is to take these functionalities and stitch them together to create solutions to the most common internet requirements you'll find. And the fourth one, most importantly, is not just to create these solutions that will technically meet the requirement, but to do so in a way that optimizes for end user experience, which is the most important factor in the success and adoption of your site. The format of this course is practical, and practical in two senses of the word. In the first sense, it's practical in that together, we're gonna to build a SharePoint department site, step by step, where I'm gonna to explain to you exactly what I'm doing and why I'm doing it. And practical in a second sense of the word that the course is structured in modules with each module delivering a core piece of functionality or requirement that's common across many intranets based on real world experience. Now, where does this experience come from? Well, for the last 10 years or so, I've worked primarily on the design and build of corporate intranets. Now, while I've built and delivered these intranets for many different organizations and organizations may be very different, the core requirements that are at the heart of their intranets are quite often the same. So the way this course is structured is that I've taken the most common requirements that I see across all organizations and put them into one site that I'm going to show you how to build. Now the context of this site is a HR department internet site, but that's okay. If your department happens to be for another function or business area, that's fine. The principles that I'm going to demonstrate will apply to you too. Now in terms of prerequisites, there's not many. You don't have to be technical. Everything we're going to do uses out of the box functionality. So you don't need any coding experience or anything like that. It really is aimed at a standard business user. All you need is a SharePoint online communication site or team site. It doesn't matter which you have. What I'm gonna show you is applicable to both. Although I am using a SharePoint online communication site for this course. Now, while I do recommend you watch this course from start to finish, because it is module based, you can cherry pick whichever module suits you and your need at the time. So you can use this course as a reference if you don't want to sit through it from start to finish. So with all that being said, pour yourself a coffee and let's get into it. 